Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It is time to update you guys on what I purchased in July of 2023 and how I'm feeling about, oh my god, don't look at my nails. Uh, you're going to see them in a couple of videos, so you're going to see them anyway. Um, stop complaining about them, Hayley, just redo them. Uh, I need to also talk about my like haul in retrospect. Was that haul worth it from July 2022? So this month I didn't buy anything. Nope. Uh, I feel like I've been doing really well this year. Like, did I buy anything ever? I think I, I purchased a can of dry shampoo. And I purchased that too late when I didn't need it. Uh, or no longer needed it. And I purchased a bunch of nail stuff, which I haven't really used since we moved into this house because I'm just moving, moving. Um, I did do my nails once before mum came and then had to take them off because they were a mess. But anyway, that's, it doesn't matter. I'll get back into it eventually. This year buying beauty products has really just not been a priority. One, uh, the current global economic crisis is pretty bad uh inflation as you all know like i'm not saying anything new here you all get this uh inflation is at an all-time high and uh for months it even since last year you know it we've been feeling this and it's just been getting worse and worse and i have been doing my best not to stimulate the economy too much and when I am stimulating the economy I'm trying to do it with the least amount of money that I possibly can. There are certain things you know you can't avoid spending money on uh, but there are certainly things that we can avoid spending money on and for me uh, beauty products has been one of them because I still like I have enough. Uh, I definitely will not say that I don't feel the urge to buy things and there are some areas of my like product stash where I could certainly buy things that like I'm in a position where I I kind of could need them soon uh, specifically like exfoliating toners uh, a face cleanser like these are the areas where I'm getting low and in any normal time in my life, I would have just like purchased one or two. I kind of feel a bit shitty about buying stuff at the moment. I'm just like, don't do it. Like, don't, don't encourage those bastards. Uh, so yeah, that's one of the reasons. But also, you know, we purchased a house and um, now I'm, you know, a lot of my money goes towards paying a mortgage and all that jazz. So I guess I have more important things to spend the money on. But I do feel like I, that, like there are things that I want. But yeah, I'm just kind of like, oh, I just don't don't want to spend the money. I want to save the money essentially. So yeah, that's that's kind of my mentality there. Um, I don't know when I will buy product. I might even wait until like the end of the year holiday releases to buy products. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Um, but what I do want to talk about are my purchases from, uh, July, 2022. I think the only thing I can really reach is going to be this. This is the Chanel Vitalumier, uh, fluid de tint. Radiant Moisture Rich Fluid Foundation. I have the shade 07 Ivory. Um, this is beautiful, really like low coverage. Probably, not gonna lie, probably would find this the best to use at the moment because my skin is so dry. Also, I can't, I cannot win with the uh, the lighting today. It's you're absolutely miserable and gross, Perth. Your weather sucks in winter. I'm really angry at the weather at the moment. I'm over winter. That's the issue. Like I, I'm not going off on a tangent. Let let's let's leave that for like a chatty, angry rant video. Um, <laughs> this is really nice. I love this foundation. I probably should be using it more now, but I am trying to pan some older ones. My foundation stash is looking pretty under control, um, which is great. And I'm hoping by the end of next year, it will be in a position where I can, um, 
you know, buy new foundations and just enjoy them while they're brand new and lovely. Um, maybe even, you know, when I do my inventory at the end of this year, I might just declutter a bunch and get myself there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Other things that I purchased in July of 2022, I actually purchased quite a few things. Um, I had the Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped Palette. Did I get rid of that palette? I do still have it. Um, I believe, look, I haven't used this in, probably since I fucking bought it. Uh, I believe that I didn't like this formula as much as I liked the Natural Nudes palette. Um, I will, look, I'm gonna get into this eventually and give it a go. I like the colour story, that's what I, like, I really love the colour story, but yeah, I think the formula was a bit crappy. So, there's that. Uh, I barely, barely used it since I purchased it. I also picked up the Trilogy Rosehip Oil Antioxidant Plus, and I only bought that because I was in Perth at this time last year and uh, I didn't have a face oil and my skin was freaking out because it was so dry. I didn't realize how dry the climate is here. This is why I'm annoyed about the weather. Um, <laughs> and I, uh, I've used it a couple of times but I've been using older oils that I already had open and like had made or got good use out of. Um, that's what I'm kind of trying to use up now uh, rather than you know opening or using the uh, Trilogy one and having these other ones that are already open just getting older and older and not being used. So eventually I will get around to using the Trilogy one uh, but it looks like the other things I purchased were brushes. Now, I don't have any idea where these are. Pro like, I've got a pile of boxes back here. Probably in there somewhere. I have not unpacked my whole brush collection. Uh, mostly because I don't have anywhere to store them. But I had the Surratt Classic Shadow Brush Petite and the Smoky Eye Brush Grande. And I also had the Sonia G Soft definer brush and the Smith Cosmetics Quill 233 brush. The Surratt brushes, I would say, are wildly overpriced for what they are. And they don't have that, like, that beautiful quality weightiness to them. I very clearly remember that. Um, I do really enjoy Smith Cosmetic brushes. I only have a few, but what I have, I love. And Sonia G, I mean, I think if you've heard me talk about Sonia G before, then you guys know I love Sonia G brushes and what I've purchased from her, I also really, really enjoy. So the brushes, I would say the Surratt ones are probably, like they're not a regret, but they're not, they weren't like the, the best brushes that I purchased. They're nice, don't get me wrong, but they're very expensive for what they are. But the Sonia G and the Smith Cosmetics, Primo, love that. So I would say my uh, July 2022 purchases were, mm, I mean, there were there was like the great stuff and then there was that angry oil purchase and then there was some stuff that mm, maybe not, not the best. Um, so it was mixed bag, I would say. I think this series is losing relevancy uh, on my channel because I started a low buy uh, this year and I'm sticking to it. I like I've I'm I'm being successful in my low buy and uh, that that really doesn't actually make for a very interesting series. <laughs> I think talking about my hauls in retrospect is um, really good and I, you know I kind of want to continue with that but uh, there won't be a haul in retrospect next year because I'm not purchasing anything which is I don't know it's it's kind of a catch-22 isn't it like I started this series to monitor what I was purchasing 
it had quite a profound effect on me and has worked in reducing my purchasing uh, and now it's irrelevant <laughs> because I'm not purchasing anything it's kind of bittersweet for me I guess uh, and I wasn't, I was kind of like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to film this video for July. But when I saw like how much I'd purchased in July of last year, I was like, oh, I kind of have to do a little update on it. And the update is I'm not using any of the stuff. When I look at the things that I purchased, I'm not using the brushes because I don't know where they are other than somewhere in here. Uh, the foundation and the face oil I'm not using because I'm trying to pan older stuff and the eyeshadow palette I'm not using because I'm so over eyeshadow <laughs> oh gosh I have a lot of feelings about uh, this series at the moment but I don't really know how to process them anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there um, I hope you enjoyed this non video let me know how you're going with your purchasing um, and if you're reducing your purchasing because of inflation and trying to like fight the good fight on your own, I don't know. One person, do I really make a difference? I don't even know. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.